Hello, everyone. This is Tony Lawson, CEO and co-founder of Shop Black. Today, I'm joined by Mr. Chuck Arakwe, the founder and CEO of Xantos Labs. How are you doing today, Chuck? Doing very well. Thanks so much for having me, Tony. Of course, my pleasure. Now, could you give us um, a brief uh, background on what your company is and yourself? Yeah, absolutely. So Xantos Labs is a registered investment advisor. Uh, our mission is really to offer uh, low fee, low minimum, low investment minimum, and uh, premium service, premium investment advice to our clients. And so we research, <coughs> we research, uh, uh, analyze, and invest in positions and manage the investment portfolios of, of our clients. And our goal is really to kind of break down the access barrier. A little background about myself: uh, I'm a computer architect by training. Uh, before uh, moving on to do my MBA and then uh, transitioning to full role as a co-founder and chief investment officer uh, at Xantos Labs. So I spent about a decade in the chip uh, design industry. I was a Samsung, started my career actually at Intel, Samsung, Qualcomm, uh, you know, you name it. Um, spent a good amount of time there. So I have a lot of experience there. And the strategies that we build today or the firm was really started because we, I grew up poor and Nigeria and one of the key things is you don't have really have a lot of financial literacy as to how not to just you get a little bit of money you spend it you get a little bit of money you spend it so uh, when I started earning money by working at these uh, big big tech organizations it was a challenge for me to also realize how how do you kind of grow that money right beyond the savings account that give you 0.01 yeah. percent um, so <clears throat> The next step was also realizing that Wall Street doesn't have a lot of solutions for the average investor. Uh, you need to have a, a large account to be able to kind of get your foot in the door. And uh, so we set out really to change this. And Xantos Labs is the fruit of that. Yeah. Okay. So in essence, you describe Xantos Labs as um, an investment advisor and application? Yes. So... The firm is a registered investment advisor, registered with SEC, mm -hmm. um, but we built a mobile app that really allows anyone that doesn't have the financial literacy, uh, doesn't have the time to go be picking stocks on uh, Robinhood or this uh, low commission free. We do the investment, we, we do the investment analyze and we manage portfolios for you. Uh, this is a he heavily regulated industry. So <clears throat> we serve as a fiduciary and every decision that we make is in the best interest of our client. Um, and, you know, we, more importantly, you know, thinking back where I was several years ago is I want to change the game by really educating people along the way. You right, can invest right. in ETFs, mutual fund, but you don't learn anything about the process. And for us, it's really important to take people through uh, our process so that they become better educated, better long-term uh, investors and, and, and get something out of it. Um, and, yeah, so we have a mobile app today available in Android and Google Store, uh, in Google Play Store. Okay. Uh, people can download and start investing with us. Great. Now, some other um, investment apps obviously are available on the market, you know, Robinhood or what have you. How would you say your application differs from what's already available? That's a good question. So there's a lot of trading apps. I think Robinhood, Robinhood really led the way and changed the game in terms of being able, you know, back in the day, uh, everyone was in college, it was $7 for Scott trade, uh, E-Trade, $10 for, for, for but trade. When you think about that today, it's just crazy, it's mind blowing. Mm -hmm. Robinhood came and changed that game, um, but a lot of this is still self-directed. So you have a challenge for people that don't really know what they're doing or don't, don't have the time to do the research and just kind of gamify it, investing and trading here and there. Um, I think the stats for Robinhood, a lot of people will lose money eventually. I mean, it's a nice ride up and down. It's like, yeah. oh, man, I do money today. Oh, I lost money. Oh, you know, um, but so for us, investing is complicated and daunting enough as it is. Our game plan is we, we operate in this completely different spectrum. Right. Uh, it's not just about having access to the market, but our goal is to identify research in companies on behalf of our clients. We do the work for you so you don't have to. 
uh, lift the finger at all. I'm just gonna take a sit back and we manage and educate you along the way as to what our process is. Right. Um, we've done you know quite well. I, I will always you know say this that past performance is not a guarantee of future performance, but we've done exceptionally well in the five and a half years uh, track record that we've built so far for the firm. Uh, yeah, over 20% analyzed returns. Uh, market is about 16, 17 percent uh, and change. So that's you know really incredible for uh, early stage form like ours. Um, okay. But that's the, the differentiation. The, the differentiation is you know solve the right you know making investment decisions. Uh, some of our clients still do that, right? We go gamble, uh, uh, speculate on a few securities here and there. Um, but for the bulk of their money that they want. Uh, a, a financial advisor to manage, and that's where we'll come in. That's where we'll, we help them for a small fee. Okay. Now you mentioned that you, um, I guess, since you initiated the uh, your company, you've had like better returns uh, compared to the average of the market. Like, what ways have you identified to minimize investment risk for your clients and for yourselves, also? Uh, another great question. You know, when we started this game, uh, understanding the market. Right, trying to educate ourselves in the market. The typical spill by Wall Street is go invest in uh, ETFs and mutual funds. Those are typically you know, hundreds and hundreds of stocks that are put together in a portfolio or a, in a strategy. And you go buy that low fee ETFs. And, but the challenge is that those typically move about on average about the same as the market. Mm -hmm. And for the target base that we're coming up with, the, the, our demographics, they need a little bit better than average. That's the, you're not going to have financial security by going 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 average. Right. So for us, uh, we really we thought the approach one we wanted to focus on minimizing what something called downside risk, which is the probability that your money goes from 100 bucks invested to 50 bucks or 20 bucks or something like that. So we focus on on that first, right? We, we want to minimize that probability. The second aspect of it is we employ a concentrated portfolio, unlike uh, the ETFs and mutual funds that I tell you that have you know hundreds and thousands of stocks in it. We invest in a concentrated list of really high conviction names that we've taken the time to analyze, research, is weeks and weeks of work to really understand what the company do, does and believe that there's a strong macro trend that will help them in the long run before we invest. So we do our research before we invest in any position. So those are two ways that really differentiates us in managing downside risk as i mentioned that probably the month a hundred dollars will become 50 or a dollar tomorrow mm -hmm. we also do that systematically that's where my engineering background and skills they come in play um so we analyze put a uh, build a concentrated list of portfolios and we invest in it in a way that ensures that the downside risk is minimized um, along the way. Um, so that's really the kicker as to what we do. Sure. The uh, corollary to this is, you know, you think about Warren Buffett, for instance, a lot of high, you know, exceptional investors like him focus on the same concentrated strategy where they really take the time to understand the stocks that they invest in and then they invest. Warren Buffett's portfolio today is what, uh, about 40, 50 names, mm -hmm. but five of those names will hold more than 75% of his assets, right? That's a highly, highly concentrated strategy. Um, and we employ some like uh, technique of just doing the work. And a lot of people don't employ this because you know, that's why mutual funds ETFs is cheap because it, it takes a lot of manpower to do this. And yeah. it's, it's easier to just put a bunch of names, put it together uh, and, and, and kind of go for it. So those are the key things that uh, really separate us. The, concentrated managing downside and then this to really invest interesting and you mentioned um doing the work so part of investing is obviously doing research on companies right i know mm -hmm. your company does research for your clients do you um suggest clients do research on what they want to invest in or you kind of say hey look we'll just handle everything for you and we'll give you you know these returns or are you saying let us know what you want to invest in and we can kind of tell you like this might be a good idea or this might not be a good idea for whatever reason yeah so we own the investment approach uh all through and through i mean you think about it as an investment advisor that manages money for so many different clients mm -hmm. getting inputs from so many different people is, it mm -hmm. comes 
convoluted. It's just not something you want. Mm -hmm. So having a strategy that we built over several years and really researched and put our money in the market, say it work, and then make it available to client. Yeah. Uh, you, you can't you can't go away with that. But it's also not to say that we don't take feedback from our clients. Uh, there are some markets or things that we're not exposed to. Of course, that you know, if someone uh, has an idea, they can. The beauty about the app or mobile app that people can communicate right there and there with the investment investment manager. Of course, no insider trading, none of that. We don't we don't want anything to, to do with any of those things. But uh, <clears throat> You know that that kind of gives you an insight. Is we 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 research, figure it out ourselves in house because uh, too many hands in the pot kind of spoils yeah. the cooking. Too kind many of too many too many chefs in the kitchen. Exactly, exactly. Got, yeah. got it. Um, so okay. So when it comes to investing, what would you say are the most important factors that should be taken into consideration, whether it's, you know, obviously going with an advisor or something that you want to do solo, this is just like the basis, this is what you should be looking at before making an investment. For us, we, we don't like investments that keep up us, keep us up at night. So we really invest, we're looking at long-term macro trends that, you know, climate change is, we've seen now hurricanes and uh, flash falls over and over again. Um, how do you turn that into a, an actionable investment advice, mm -hmm. right? Um, that's a, a long macro trend, just an example of one. Yeah. Well, E-commerce has uh, room for growth versus brick and model. How do you turn that into, so having that sort of long-term outlook really changes the game for us because, Frankly, I'm not waking up every morning and checking what the market is doing. Mm -hmm. And we advise the same for, the, for our clients. So you should be able to kind of just close your eyes for a couple of years and not worry about what the market is doing. You, you will have a better peace of mind. Do your homework and then invest, right? Um, and really on the do your homework part, um, you want to really understand what a company does. Uh, a lot of people make these mistakes as you see a flashy name or meme stock. They don't really know what the company does. You need to be able to understand what does this company do? How do they collect their payment? What sector are they operating in? What channels do they have to reach their customers? Or is, is any of that at risk you know, in the future? Who's running the company? Um, and how competent are they in terms of executing the vision? Um, companies have a lot of 10Ks or 10Qs or annual reports or quarterly reports. We take our time to really read those and understand, okay, you go back all the way in 2015, 2010, what were their growth strategies and how do they execute towards them now in 2015 or 2020, right? Uh, where did they suck or where did they do really well? These are things that, you know, we keep an eye for. If it's a single founder, you know, one person is a key role, do they have a skin in the game, like in terms of uh, owning part of the shares and, and not just, you know, you see a lot of uh, executive uh, golden parachutes that kind of come in place. So these are things that we really, uh, really, really uh, keep an eye on uh, competitive landscape. Uh, but for us, you know, it kind of boils down to understanding the moat around the business, which is the competitive advantage versus their competitors, um, right. who's running the company, and what is their growth, growth track record or what is their growth projections or growth potential look like. Uh, those are the three key pillars for us. And we do this all with a very long-term outlook. Interesting, okay. Well, Chuck, how can um, our community here at Shop Black and you know our network outside, how can we support your company? Absolutely. Uh, you know, first thing I'll say is download Xantos Labs app from uh, Apple Store, Google Play Store. Uh, is available today. And you can quickly uh, jump in and download. It takes five minutes to onboard. And our minimum to invest is 500. Um, download, check it out. But please do your research with any investment app, including us, as to who's running the company, who, who the team is. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for having me, Tony. It's really, it's really oh, been a pleasure to be here. Of course, of course. My pleasure. And we'll talk soon. All right. Take care. All right. Take care.